Hey everyone, um, this is going to be a haul video and it's actually a haul video that I'm really excited about. Quickly before I get started, I probably said this every single video, but sorry about my lighting. It's like, I don't even know what time it is, it's about half past seven. Um, so it's really dark outside and where my room's like a really dark red, um, it just makes me look really orange and dark if um, I record when the lighting's not right. So I've got like a lamp in front of me and it's just lighting up my face and in the background almost looks black so I'm sorry for that. But yeah, as I said, this is a whole video that I'm very excited about. I just literally got in, um, but I don't know if you guys know, but basically today... Um, was the day that the Venomous Villains collections from MAC was released in stores. I know it got released online, I think it was Monday. Um, but I wanted to go to the store or my counter before I bought anything from the collection just so I could see everything um, because swatches on the MAC website always look different um, when you buy them in person. So, yeah. Okay, so I actually got um, stuff from the Venomous Villains collection and one other thing. Um, and I'll show you the Venom Spin stuff first. So this is the things I bought from that collection. I bought a few things. Um, the first two things I bought are lipsticks. Um, I really, really like the packaging. Um, like I don't know if you can see, but like you've got the sketch of the character on the actual boxes, like this. Um, and then it just kind of slips out like this and it's just a regular MAC box which is kind of a waste of cardboard but I don't particularly mind because I'll probably um, like unfold the cardboard and keep it just because I think the packaging is really really nice um, because I'm a bit of a hoarder like that um, so yeah the first one I got is um, part of the Malefic Maleficent line um, there was four characters Maleficent, um, the Evil Queen, Corella de Vil and Dr. Facilier or whatever, however you say his name I never got anything from his selection um, but yeah the first lipstick I got is in Violetta um, I'm pretty sure this is a permanent colour um, at first I didn't want to get it because it is like really really um, different to everything I wear um, this is what it looks like Sorry, I'm making a shadow on my face. Um, it looks purple. Um, it is a amplified cream, or it just says amplified, but I'm pretty sure that means amplified cream. I don't know. Um, but it looks like this. Um, it's more pinky toned when you wear it. Um, that's what it looks like. I don't know how good that swatch is, but I really, really like it. Like You can wear it more sheer. Um, it's probably come off because I just um, ate dinner on the way home. Um, but I had it, like, I just kind of dabbed it on. And it was just a really, really nice kind of pinky, uh, purpley colour. Um, so I really like that lipstick. I went back to the counter about four times before I actually bought it. And in the end, the makeup artist was just like, it really suits you, da 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 da, da. So I ended up buying it. Um, so yeah, the next lipstick I bought is part of the Corella de Vil, um section I guess and it's the colour Innocence Beware again it's got the little sleeve and then the regular MAC box um, and I um, forgot to say this about the last one but the packaging is like shiny compared to regular MAC packaging and then it's got the character on the actual kind of packaging um, and this is a nudish lipstick this is what it looks like um, I want to compare it to my um, freckle tone lipstick um, I think this one's got more of a peachy pinky undertone to it and this is a cream sheen um, it's a really nice nude colour it's definitely got kind of like a peachy tint to it um, but I really like nudes it's just a colour that you can always go to um, I don't know if you can see that at all but maybe I'll put some pictures on my blog so yeah I really really like that um, and then the next thing I got is one of the blushes. It's from the Maleficent line. That's kind of a better picture of the packaging. This isn't a sleeve though. This is just on the box. Um, so I don't understand why they didn't just do that for the lipstick box. But I don't mind. Um, that's what it looks like. And this one's called Buy Out of an Apple. And when the makeup artist put this on me in the shop and on, at the counter. Because um, I wanted to try it on first. She kind of put it on quite heavy. Well, not too heavy, but like I had kind of a pinky blush on already. I had Dolly Mix on, um, which is quite pinky and not very natural looking. So when she put it on, it kind of just looked overloaded on my face. I had to kind of rub it off a bit. But it is a very, very nice colour. Um, it is matte. That's what the packaging looks like. It's just got the... Um, 
by Isdis. No, sorry, this isn't Maleficent. This is the Evil Queen. Sorry, my mistake. But yeah, that's what the packaging looks like. It's just got the Evil Queen on the front. Um, I don't know how well my camera is focusing on this. Um, yeah, I forgot to say in all my previous videos, I'm using my camera now, so quality should be better. Um, but yeah, um, sorry I'm talking really, really fast, but I'm just, I was just so excited for this. I went straight up there after school. Um, so yeah, anyway, back to the blush. I don't know how well this is going to show up, but it's kind of like, I don't know, it's matte, and it's like a corally, ready colour. Um, I don't know, it's really hard to explain. But, so I'll definitely try and put pictures up on my blog, but that'll probably be tomorrow. I'm trying to swatch it quite heavily so you can see. I don't know if you can see this because of the lamp, but I really, really like this blush. Um, it probably won't be the kind of colour I wear every day because it is very... You, it's like one of them colours that don't look like a natural blush, if you know what I mean. It kind of looks really... Um, not false, like not obviously, not like dolly looking, but I don't know how to explain it. It's just not very natural, I guess. Um, and then I've got one pigment. This is my first MAC pigment. Um, and this just comes in a regular box. It hasn't got any characters on it. Um, and this one's called Push the Edge. Oh, wait, I did get something from the Dr. Facilier line, because I'm pretty sure this is from Dr. Facilier. Anyway, um, <laughs> this one's called Push the Edge. Um, and it's like a deep purple with like um, pink and silver and blue reflex in it. It's really, really nice. Um, and the pigment jar looks bigger on camera than it is actually in person. Like I personally, like I know the old pigment jars are like shorter and fatter and I actually saw them in person. I like, I prefer, preferably prefer them ones to these ones because on camera they look really deceiving. Like I used to look at other people's videos with the new pigment jars and I always thought they were taller but if I just compare it to my palm and I haven't got overly huge hands it's tiny like that still makes it look quite big I don't know it's shorter than my little finger and I've got kind of short fingers anyway but whatever yeah but I really really like this and I actually just asked for an empty sample jar because I'm actually going to tip some out and give some to my friends because I'm never going to use this in like all of it ever in my life so yeah, that's everything I got from the collection. I got one more thing. Um, this is from the Pro Longwear collection, I guess. And I got one of the Pro Longwear foundations. And then I kind of just put it on the back of my hand to feel the consistency. It felt slightly sticky. I don't know if that's just me. Um, yeah, I don't know. But I decided to get it anyway because I thought um, once I set it with a powder, it should feel okay, I guess. I'm pretty sure... When I was watching Cami Love's Kiwi video, she said that it felt kind of sticky, and when she set it with a powder, it felt fine. Um, but I may be dreaming, I'm not sure. Um, but this is what the packaging looks like, and the one thing I really like about this packaging straight away is that it has a pump with it. Like, you don't have to buy the pump, I guess, and you just twist it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm guessing you just twist it to make it work. Yeah, you just twist it to like lock it and unlock it. Um, I'm in NC40. Um, I, NC40 is like the perfect match to my skin. So I really, really am looking forward to using this. I might do a review on it. But yeah, this is more expensive than regular matte foundations. Or the, this is more expensive than at least Studio Fix. Because that's the one I usually use. Studio Fix I think is £16.50 and this was £22. So, But I'm looking forward to trying it. Um, so yeah, that's all the stuff that I bought today. Um, I have got one last MAC thing to show you. Um, I never actually bought this. This was given to me by my cousin because she bought it when she went on holiday. Um, and it's one of the block powders. Um, and the makeup artist must have put one of the block powders on her and then may have accidentally got, got the wrong shade out of the drawer and my cousin never checked it. Um, so it was too light for her um, when she bought it home. So she gave it to me. Um, it's in medium dark which I'm um, like normally, like when I tried one of the MAC Mineral Light Skin Finish Naturals before, that was the shade I was. Um, so yeah, it's too light for her. So she gave it to me. This is what it looks like. It's just like a regular powder, block powder. I wasn't intending on buying this, but sometimes I use it just to set my foundation. Um, 
so yeah that's what it looks like pretty boring compared to the rest of the stuff I've had to show um, so that's all the Mac stuff I bought I'll just quickly include a couple of other things I got while I was out um, sh um, buying stuff from the collection um, I actually was talking to um, another company called Avida I think it's called I don't know if you can see the writing on that A-V-E-D-A because my hair is very dry and damaged from obviously dyeing it a lot so I was talking to them about the shampoos and conditioners um, and stuff and she actually gave me a free sample um, and this is the dry remedy moisturising hair care it comes with a shampoo, conditioner and a treatment um, I don't know how to open it up okay. um, so I haven't actually opened this yet but you just get three little tubes and a leaflet which I just dropped um, this is the conditioner um, this is the shampoo and then this is the treatment. The treatment you use once a week. She said it should do about three washes but my hair is very long and very thick so it probably will do one. Um, but yeah I'm looking forward to trying that. And I also went over to Bare Minerals um, and I got one of their samples. Um, it, uh, it's in medium beige. Um, I'm not. She just kind of looked at me and gave me the shade. I don't know if I am actually this shade. Well, um, but it's really cute. It comes with a little pot of the mineral foundation, and it comes with this little tiny, like tiny, tiny, tiny kabuki, um, which is kind of cool. It'd be nice to put in my school bag or whatever. Um, just if I want to take a powder with me into school. Um, so yeah, that's kind of um, that was really cute. Um, I was just like over there inquiring about the prices or whatever because I want to try their mineral foundation and she's like oh here have a sample I was just like oh thank you um, so yeah and then I just got a few other things at, at, um, in Superdrug the other day I've got two more of the Emirate eye dusts um, I've got a gold one that um, looks like that and then I've got this green one it looks kind of bright but if you use it dry it's quite sheer and then if you use it um, wet it's really opaque so that would be kind of fun to play around with. And then I got one of the MUA lipsticks because I finally found one without a heap load of glitter in it. And this is shade 11. And that kind of shows the shade, I guess. And then it looks quite dark in the tube. But it's not actually that dark. That's what it looks like. It's kind of like... I don't know. It's like... Kind of like a deep pink, I guess. But like... It's really hard to explain, but it's really nice. If you use it quite, sh um, like, with a light hand, it looks kind of like my natural lip colour, because my natural lip colour is kind of really pigmented and, like, pink, so, yeah. And then I've got this Max Factor Lip Finity Lasting Lip Tint, which is just like a lip stain marker, because um, I wanted to try a lip stain. Um, and this is just number four, and it does stay on all day. It tastes disgusting. Um... <laughs> because I accidentally licked my lips before it dried um, but I had it on today and it just it's kind of like my natural lip colour but a bit darker because again as I said my lip colour is very dark and pigmented um, but that is it there I don't know how these swatches are showing up because I just kind of had to improvise with my lighting um, but yeah that is basically everything I don't think I've left anything out but I know I rambled a lot and I know I spoke really, really fast um, because, I don't know, I'm really on a high at the moment and my battery's dying and I'm tired and I have a ton of homework to do for tomorrow because I couldn't do it earlier because I was out shopping at Mac. Um, but yeah, I hope you like this video. I hope the quality is better. I forgot to mention it in my last videos. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye.